Our backyard is done enough that I'm finally ready to give you the big tour. So here is our backyard. We'll start, we'll just start right here. So I have some succulents and a Nerf dart because that's, I do have two boys uh, loving these because they only need to be watered like once a week. This umbrella here, we just bought some new solar lights that we'll be putting up soon. This umbrella here is ABBA. You can get it on Amazon. I'll actually leave. There's a coupon code for it um, that I'll leave. But it is so amazing because it covers so much of our deck. It's like the cantilever goes up and down. It's incredible. So I'd highly recommend this, especially if you're trying to get away from doing like an awning because then you just roll this puppy down. I'll show you how easy this is. And then it just drops. So, and then it wraps around, comes with a weighted, we got like the weighted base. So it's just sand. It's very, very heavy weighted base. And that's it. It's awesome. We're gonna have to redo our stucco soon. Carpet first, I want carpet first. <laughs> Anyways, the backyard was number one, now carpet. This is from Ikea. It's honestly not the best. I wouldn't recommend buying that. Um, if we ever get a hot tub, it will go here one day. This is leftover grass. I think we'll be end up giving that to our neighbor. I'm trying to talk him into it. Uh, if not, we'll just post it for free somewhere, but this is the really good chipping grass. So this is our chipping green here. I have a couple of pots that I'll fill with plants eventually. We've got some DG here. This side yard over here is not cute. Um, it's just kind of like, here, see? Trash, we got a chair. extra grass. That needs a little work. Just pretend like you didn't see that. So we've got DG here. Isn't that lovely? Just pretend like it goes right there. Uh, our shed. We got the shed at Costco and it was okay building it. It was also a test of our relationship, <laughs> um, but it was great and it's so nice to have. So we haven't officially moved into it yet. The kids the other night were playing out here. So I can show you the inside. See, they hung up little lights and they put some chairs in here. <laughs> so the kids were in here the other night playing. Um, really nice though, really nice, e relatively easy. You know, it's not the easiest thing to put together, but it works. Back here is just rubber mulch. So this is actually like shredded tires. See? Really cool, nice to step on, very squishy, uh, easy to walk on, simple, matches the other side too. So this is our chipping green. And the chipping green grass is kind of, it's longer. It's still like shedding from all the cuts and stuff. Um, it's longer, it's thicker, it's plusher. We picked one that has a little like dead thatch down there. And yeah, we love it. So we chip off of here and then kind of come back and see where we've been. This is the putting green itself. So this grass here matches a golf course that we play a lot locally. So that's this, this here. Um, yeah, this has like the, the three foot side circle. So every putt from every direction is different because of the angle. This is the hardest hole on our green. That's the hardest hole on our course. <laughs> the one up there is a little bit easier. Um, back here, I might end up planting some blackberries back here one day. We'll see. We might just not because also balls end up back here quite often. We do have a three hole putting green. We need to figure out something to put down here because if a ball rolls off, you can see the slope here. Well, maybe you can, I'm not sure. But you can kind of see the slope here. It's pretty steep, so balls do roll off underneath the deck. Right now, we just have some extra pavers sitting there to block them. Bucket of balls, they'll dump out the whole bucket and just hit balls again after ball after ball after ball. Over here, we have some more succulents, our grill, um, the misty fan. That thing's amazing. I'm going to plant some more succulents. I'm going to give these guys, these, these ones and then the other ones, an entire year and whatever lives, and I'll plant more. This is for... So this is our batting cage, which you may have seen before. And this here is the stand that you put in to elevate the pitching machine when you are actually playing like baseball or softball or anything like that. We have our hose over here. Um, this is the backstop over here. This is if you're playing cricket. This is technically a cricket mat. Um, when you the ball bounces, there's room for it to bounce and then you can hit off of that. So this is where they stand, this net, more than anything is used for soccer. 
So this is the community soccer net. It's used for soccer all the time. At any given time, you can find a whole slew of neighborhood children in this net. I'm like, well, we got more kids in the cage. <laughs> um, over here, we have a mat for irons and the driver, metals, whatever. And back here, we have a special net. And this special net is specifically for, you can kind of see it, it's this one. It's specifically for, it's this one right here, uh, golf. So we do have a golf net there. Over here is just our chest that we keep our, you know, stuff in. Like there's a bunch of soccer balls in there pretty much. Um, over here is my garden, my last little piece of land. Um, more rubber mulch, stepping stones. Although with the rubber mulch, you don't need the stepping stones quite like we used to. So we've got our little walk around here. Uh, this tree, this keeps the neighbors happy. Uh, this is a London plane tree and it is beautiful. It's so pretty. Uh, I think it has some of the best leaves. Back here I've got my little raspberry. It's it, it's thinking about life. <laughs> Over here we have um, strawberries, which are the happiest things ever. We constantly have strawberries. Those are some of the smaller ones actually. Um, also the kids were not here last night. So we get a couple a day off of this bad boy. Tomatoes, I mean, obviously this is gonna change all the time. Cherry tomatoes, lettuce, red onion, all sorts of peppers. This, this guy here is a, this is our jalapeno. Uh, you can see we've got a couple of jalapenos in there. Can you see them? And I've got my thyme and oregano, sage, parsley, my basil's like taking over the land. I've got one little lone lavender plant over here. Um, it should come back again. And then these peppers here, the kids call them dragon peppers. Honestly, I don't know what they are. This plant was a gift to me. And all I can tell you is that these puppies are hot and we are getting them by the bucket full. So, and then this guy here is more of like a bell pepper. We've only gotten a pepper off of him and it was really good. I've also got rosemary and cilantro in there. So that's my garden. It's kind of the walk behind. There's a feather, there's a golf ball. Uh, yeah, there's caliber. Sweet caliber dog, but that's our backyard. We are so proud of it. It took a long time. It took a really long time for us to get to this point, but we're happy we're finally here and we have a place that we can sit out and enjoy. Now we just need maybe a hot tub, maybe some patio furniture, but hopefully first carpet inside the house. So anyways, that's it. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.